the first day in Paris, okay, technically it's the second day because yesterday we spent half a day here, but we didn't sleep the whole night and we just walked aimlessly through the streets. Um, so yeah, it's the first plan out day uh, and we're going off to the Louvre first, then the Eiffel Tower and then some sort of museum, maybe the uh, Van Gogh light show. And I'm gonna sketch a bit if I see something interesting. Okay, here's so much sketching stuff. I definitely find something. So let's go and have a nice sketching day. Our little Airbnb was located in quite a busy area and was right beside the Louvre. And even on our little way there, there were too many huge and impressive buildings. Like if I would live there, I would find nice sketching spots every single day. But for that day, we headed to the Louvre and I think it wasn't too crowded since it was a weekday morning. And as soon as I spotted the iconic glass pyramid, I knew that it had to be my first sketch in Paris. There were so many spots where you could just comfortably sit down without bothering too many people and that is what I did. I started sketching the pyramid in the middle of the page and slowly expanding the sketch to uh, what I observed. And I tried to create a little uh, foreground by sketching the street lamp in front and the palace in the background. Keeping it loose and sketchy as always. Uh, I have to say that it's actually quite hard to sketch buildings with a lot of decor and arches and sculptures and stuff like that, so I often just simplify them. And I also kind of messed up the perspective, but that's the great thing about sketching. Nobody will know once I'm not at the Louvre anymore. I sometimes even shift objects on the paper around so uh, I can make a better composition out of it. Like we are artists, it's our sketchbook and we can do whatever we want, right? And the last step is watercolor. If you know my sketches, you might also know that I do the watercoloring very roughly. I often use only two to three colors to keep it simple. And this time I didn't even want to carry my water glass container, so I just used a water spraying bottle, which was also kind of fun. I sometimes just spray it directly onto the page to see how the paint spreads, which worked great for the sky. Uh, but it was a bit messy to clean the brush. After the sketch we wanted to obviously go inside and see the art, I totally underestimated the size of this whole museum. I didn't know it had that many departments and themes to it, but of course we had to see the Mona Lisa. There were so, so many people waiting in line to just look at it closely, but nope, I was ready for this and I just thought it wasn't worth it since there were tons of other beautiful pictures and works. My favorite part was the sculpture section. It was so impressive to me and if I had more time, I would spend my entire day there sketching the sculptures from different sides. The original plan was to find a nice spot to chill and sketch the Eiffel Tower, but I didn't know that the grass in the park was fenced and since the sun was going down and the cool spots were already taken, I've decided to sketch it tomorrow and just go to the light exhibition. Okay, here's the night view and I love how it looks, it's so cool and I can actually see the whole Eiffel Tower but I can't show you because uh, of copyright issues I think, but it's so beautiful. <sighs> what a day. <laughs> I have to be honest, I thought that I would um, manage to fit more into one day than what I actually managed to do. Like, we only went to the Louvre Museum and uh, the Eiffel Tower, but I like I didn't like the view from the side of the Eiffel Tower and I like the sun was already going down and I didn't want to like search for another spot to just sketch it. And we went to an exhibition and I kind of thought that it was a Van Gogh ex exhibition because I saw it in, uh, on TikTok, but it wasn't. It was a Kandinsky exhibition and uh, she's Sejan. She, how is his name? I think it's Sejan. Sejan. I don't think it's Sejan. <laughs> it's Sejan. Uh, it's I, I looked it up. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, today is the uh, second attempt to sketch the Eiffel Tower because uh, I searched for a spot that seemed perfect online for sketching and I hope it will just look the same in real life. Um, and also we wanted to go to the Musée de l'Orangerie, I hope I pronounced that right, but um, there are the water lilies from Monet and I really wanted to see them in real life. Um, and yeah, otherwise I don't have any, any plans, so it's gonna be a spontaneous day, I guess. I think everyone knows this main Eiffel Tower spots, which I didn't like because there were too many people, it was just too crowded. So we went to a side street, which was way more calm and just, look at this, look at this! It seemed like the perfect sketching spot, not many people around, a lot of details on the sides to make a nice composition. The only downside was that it was a quite windy day. I was a bit annoyed by my hair flying around, but I forgot my hair tie. And also the pages being randomly flipped by the wind, so I had to hold it the entire time. Which could be solved by a simple clip. I will take one with me the next time I travel. The sketching process was nearly the same as the other day. I didn't use any new supplies or techniques, just trying to get a nice looking little picture. Okay, this was definitely a very windy experience. My whole sketchbook almost flew away. Um, but I like the sketch, it's, um, it's a bit more rough because I had to hurry, there were so many people wanting to take uh, photos in front of the Eiffel Tower. Next we went to the Musée de l'Orangerie, which was maybe my favorite museum that I visited. I finally could see the water lilies by Monet and also a lot of other impressionist artists' work. The last sketch was the Arc de Triomphe. It was a bit crowded, but I found a bench to get a perfect angle and just started with the basic shapes. I randomly drew the decoration on top because it was too far away to actually see what there was. And even if I could see it, it would be way too detailed for a small sketch like this. So I mostly did some random shapes to fill the decorations up.
Some people actually didn't know that you can go up there and we definitely wanted to do that. On the last day we went to the Versailles Palace and I have to be honest, I didn't sketch that day. Sometimes I just want a break from making art and just enjoy the day as it comes. It was quite hot so after like two hours of waiting time we finally got inside and the whole palace was just so impressive. The gigantic art pieces and decor and fancy furniture, I've never seen something like this before. And I was even more impressed by the garden. Not only the palace, but the whole city of Paris was just a huge adventure for me. Especially for art-interested people like me, this was a whole dream to come true. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe I see you in my next one.